guys, it's Oda here as always, and today is another episode of Fabric Friday. It's been a while, like, I don't think I've put up any Fabric Friday this year, and my bad. I've been putting up a lot of, you know, wedding diaries, what I did for my wedding, how I cut my wedding gown, how I sew my wedding gown. If you want to know about all those shit, bam! I'm going to leave you a link to my wedding playlist in the description box. Make sure you check it out. In today's episode of Fabric Friday, we're just going to analyze this very beautiful, whew, this very lovely, oh, God. Mm, it's too beautiful. This very beautiful, this very lovely, this very elegant gown. Okay, if you want to find out the easiest way to go about cutting and sewing this gown, you guys know that this is Fabric Friday and we do style analysis. Make sure you keep watching before to, before we go into the video. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever I post a video, you will get notified. <music> So this is a very lovely blue gown. This is royal blue and for the longest time in my life I I I wasn't a fan of blue until my friend got married and I made a blue gown for her wedding. And I think I've covered out, I've um, analyzed that bridal gown here on this channel. I'm also going to leave a link to that bridal gown to in the description box because that is the gown that really sold me out to royal blue. So this First of all, I'm a little confused whether this is a gown or if this is a skirt and blouse and I'm going to tell you guys why. So this gown, it looks like it's a skirt and blouse. From what I can see here, it looks like it's a skirt and blouse and, it, and at the same time, it also looks like it's a gown. That's because for me, because of the placement of the band, somehow it looks like it's a skirt and blouse because if the band was sewn into the dress, it won't have this, you know this, this how your skirt looks when you when you tuck it into your blouse and there's also how it looks when you know the blouse and the skirt was attached to a band that's making it a gown but let's just quickly go into the description of the fabric I noticed that scuba fabrics are in fashion right now and most of these beautiful styles are made with scuba fabric so this the fabric here is a scuba fabric it's just basically a stretch fabric and the stretch fabric here is not the really light stretch fabric is this scuba fabric that goes from the 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 texture of the fabric is not very light and it's not very thick it's just somewhere in between you understand so this is a scuba fabric. So let's just quickly go into analyzing the gown. First of all, I feel it's a skirt and blouse, so I'm just going to refer to it as a skirt and blouse. Let's just go into analyzing the outfit. Now, this is an alternate blouse, and the skirt is just a pencil skirt. And you guys can see that the model is, she's endowed, she's blessed, you know, she's very, very shapy. And from what we can see here, this gown, this blouse, has a bust here it's not just like the normal that or this thing it has a bust here that was somehow carved into the altar neck so if and you can see that the that started from the the top which is like around the neck part downwards to you know like the hem of the blouse and there's a brush more like an appliqui on the blouse and it has this sort of square shaped statement sleeve now this sleeve is not just you guys know that this sleeve is not just standing on its own it has some crinoline it has maybe a boning that is giving it this standing effect so for the skirt this is just a very long basic pencil skirt there's nothing there i can't see any dart in front but i can bet you that behind that which is the back part it has a dart and it also has a zip okay that's at the back part of this outfit let me know in the comment section if you feel it's a skirt and blouse or if you feel it's a gown personally i feel it's a skirt and blouse simply because of how the band is looking the band is looking like it is on top the blouse if it was a skirt and blouse if it was a gown you see that there's a joining that's just what i feel so if you want to sew this um, this um, outfit of course is already in two parts which is the blouse and the skirt the first thing you are going to do is cut an outer neck and i'm just going to insert a little clip here to show you how to make an outer neck so to start it i've already drawn my armhole and that's the top of the blouse and that's the bottom of the blouse 
So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do, as you can see, that's the armhole. I just did that so that you guys will easily understand the tutorial. I've gone ahead to mark my neckline at 2.5 by 2.5 inches. That 2.5 inches for neck width, 2.5 inches for neck depth, 2 inches, and I connected it to the armhole curve. Okay. Now I'm calling the exact inches I'm going to use if I were marking, like if I was marking on a fabric. Do you understand? The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now, I just shift it in more do was to draw my bustier my dart placement and my bustier so that i will connect it to the neckline or the shoulder line that co co connected to the neckline of the blouse start drawing my bustier this is what we have here the next thing we are going to do or the next thing i did rather was i connected it to the neckline side So I connected the bustier to the altar neck or the neckline or the shoulder line. I don't know what to call it right now, but you guys understand what I'm doing there. And after that, I went to the sides. I went down by half an inch, half an inch, so that the bustier will be well relaxed from the shoulder side. That's a half an inch. I went off by the both sides. That's half an inch on one side, half an inch on the other side, so that the bustier will be well relaxed up by one one inch you know upwards you guys know that the neckline kind of climbed the neck so i went up by one one inch after getting the curve i have here after cutting out the outline we have created it our marking sorry that the voice is coming slower i'm having issues with my editor this is what it looks like after we've cut out the bustier and the shoulder that this is just the easiest way and the simplest way to go about cutting the blouse part of this gown is this simple for the strap that goes around the neck you can just cut a two inch wide strap now you've seen how to make the outer neck how to link the the dart from around the neck region to around the to the bustier and everything i also have a tutorial here on this channel where i did something similar that's how to cut an outer neck blouse yeah i'm going to leave a link to that tutorial in the description box it will really help you to understand how to cut this one now so you're just going to cut it as i've shown you in the small clip you go ahead to cut the skirt you know one thing for this skirt is if you know normally when some people want to sew pencil skirts when they want to um, shape the hem they take around like one one inch let me say if your hips is 40 that means you take 10 when you get to the hem you take nine but for me that is you're you just removing one inch but for this kind of skirt you might have to take out like two inches or three inches around the hem side that means instead of marking nine you're going to mark around seven inches that's seven inches here seven inches there to give you the really penciled shape do you guys understand show you how to cut a basic skirt we're going to start with the back part and i'm going to cut out the desired length now we have the zip allowance and other things the zip allowance and my working piece i'm just going to cut that out remember that this skirt has a band that after sewing you have to attach the band to the skirt so i'm just going to fold in the zip allowance just like we do with our normal skirts and i'm going to keep that aside and this is the front part of the skirt i'm just going, going to go ahead to mark my waist at 4 cm here you mark your normal waist my hips at 6 cm and at the hem i'm going to mark 4.5 because i went down by about 2.5 inches I think I went down here by about 1.5 inch, not 2.5 inches. But I just want to give you an idea how pencil you should make it. And I connected my waist to my hips, then to the hem we have here. I'm just going to cut it through. I'm going to cut it out rather, not cut it through. I, I don't even know, know the English I'm speaking. This editor is just annoying me. It's so slow, so slow, guys. Please manage if my voice is coming after the video. The back part has a really long slit and a dart, like I mentioned in the video, and this skirt has a band, don't forget that. So this is what it looks like, you guys can see how the front part looks like, and also how the back part looks like. It's just very simple and easy to cut and sew this skirt, it's a basic thing. So, like I said, now for the sleeve, the sleeve is something that is very simple and easy to cut. 
Trust me, it is something that is very simple and easy to call. But one thing you want to have at the back of your mind is you have to put crinoline to make the sleeve stand. It has to be like it has to be lined. Now this sleeve should be lined with the fabric of its own. That's its own fabric. Okay. The sleeve should be lined with its own fabric, not in lining with its own fabric because this is like a stretchy. This is a stretchy fabric, and if you line with like a different fabric, it, it might show. So one thing I'd advise, if you are cutting the sleeve, make sure you cut it against the direction of the flare, so that that's against the grain line. If it's in the direction of the flare, it, it might still give you this like stretchy feel when you are trying to sew it, but if you cut it against the direction of the flare, everything will still be in place, even when you attach the crinoline. line, okay? For this sleeve, you're just going to fold it into two the way you do when you want to cut a normal off shoulder sleeve. Then you're going to draw out the that's the desired um, length of sleeve that you want. After drawing out the desired um, length of sleeve that you want, you're just going to insert the armhole curve. It's that simple. Then you're going to give it a little shape. You're not going to make it too shapey, just a little shape. And after that, you are going to cut out the sleeve. Okay, you are going to cut out the sleeve. And this is what we have here. We have this very small, cute sleeve. I'm just going to show you the portion where you attach the crinoline line to. The portions are where you attach the crinoline line to. Remember, they are going to line this sleeve with its own fabric. Now, the back of this dress looks to me like it doesn't have an alternate. Like from what I can see here, the back is just straight. You guys know when they are sewing like a basic bustier, how straight the back is. That it was that is what this is looking like to me. So the back is looking like it's straight, and of course, because of the shape we have here, it has a zip that's at the back of this that's at the back of this blouse. And also the back of the skirt, like I mentioned earlier, has a that and it also has a zip now let us assume like i like i said earlier i said that this this outfit looks like a skirt and blouse to me but some of you will still argue that it is a gown now you would still follow all this process i've mentioned if it's a gown the band here should be around what i can see here the band here should be around two inches so by the time they are done joining it it's looking like 1.5 inch so you don't have to attach the zip individually you just attach you just after sewing the blouse okay you attach the band to the blouse then you attach the skirt to the band and the blouse then you go to the back and attach the zip make sure you give it a really 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 good press because it's a stretchy fabric the zip might not want to you know stay in place but by giving it a good press it will align properly and guys this is the easiest way the simplest way and the fastest way to go about cutting and sewing this skirt and blouse or this gown because you guys know that we only work with pictures and with the with the shape of the model i couldn't really tell if this is a skirt and blouse or if this is a gown okay if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button please 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 subscribe to my channel if you love what you see and i'll see you in my next video bye check out these videos as well check it out okay bye guys